Hi, welcome. This is another Band Labs video. Um, this one I'm covering a topic that I've been meaning to cover for quite a while. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun and there's a few teachers that have been asking for a video on how to do this particular feature. I'm looking at creating a backing track assignment for students. Okay, so this is where you might be able to, um, you might have a vocal student and you want to send them the piano part that they can sing to, or you might have a um, instrumental student where you want to have a, a backing track of a few instruments and they can be playing along to that one. Okay, so uh, let's get into this one. So, over here I'm inside my Classroom of Awesome. This is a, a demo class that I'm creating um, and doing some videos for. Um, so in order to do this, first thing we need is our backing track. So I'm going to go into my personal area. Okay, and for people who are using this before, you can go into the mixer and create something. Um, I'm going to use uh, my guitar, piano, drums track. So I've got a few tracks there. So let's go in and have a look at that one. So here I've got a few tracks, I've got no vocal part to this, so let's have a little bit of a listen to this so far. Okay, so I've got a few things going on there. Um, so I could be adding to that one and extending that particular track so for students to use. Um, so I've got that saved. You can have your track using a couple of tracks, um, having it as long as you want. So I'm going to go back to my library, and so I've got to remember the name of that one there. So the next thing is I want to create a template. So let's go into there, um, create a new template, and let's call this um, week one backing track task. Um, so, wait a second, so this is going to be um, students are to create a melody, no, are to perform, perform the melody of the song we have been learning this week, please record this for our next class. Okay, so we've got a description, we've got our title, however you might have it. Um, attachments, so now I'm going to go into my library. Okay, so this is my personal library that we were just in before. Okay, so now I'm going to select that guitar, piano, drum track that I've just done. Attach it to the assignment and click save. You could probably upload a, um, a file of uploaded images um, of drum sheet music and those sorts of things so you can upload files as well there. Okay so that's done. So the next thing would be to go back to that class. Okay, so we go back into the class and assign the task. So we create, use template, week one backing track task, select it. So here we can make any adjustments. Um, backtrack, I've spelt that wrong, so let's fix that. So back. Backing track task, so we can fix those sorts of things up. You can put a date. Um, I find some issues with due dates. Sometimes students need to have an extension for whatever reason. So I avoid putting them in beginning, but you might put them into the description so the students know when the due date is. Um, it's a little bit of a pain to extend the due date. Um, I've sent some things into Band Labs to help fix that. Hopefully they'll fix that one soon. Um, so you can adjust due dates for individual students, but overall there's no adjustment. For, so for now, I'm going to stick with that. So publish assignment. Publish. 
There we go. We've got that published. Okay, so I've got my two test students there. Okay, so uh, what I might do is I'll come back and I'll come be back in as the student view. Okay, so we're back as the student view going in. They've got this new task here, so let's go into the assignment and have a look. So, teacher assignment. And here we go. So the student has got, still loading, all of these tracks there. Okay, so the student can add other tracks. I might want to add a guitar track to that one. So they can add tracks. What's going on here? Okay, they can add tracks. Um, they can, I'm guessing they can delete tracks as well. Definitely, that's all working there. Okay, so um, they can save it. They can hit submit once they've finished that as well. Okay, so hopefully, there we go. Hopefully, um, you've been able to have all the features you need to be able to create your assignments for your students, create your backing tracks, um, and have a bit of fun with it. Um, feel free to comment below on any other features you'd like to see a bit of a video to help you out with. And thanks, don't forget to subscribe.